a couple of issues, one being a investment plan by the council, and we need a vote for that, and that will happen. And then immediately following that, we will see donuts and coffee in the fellowship room. So that's our schedule. Andrew? He's right here. <laughs> He's right here. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I was wondering where you were. I think everybody knows who Andrew is, and uh, he will be conducting the service going forward. Thank you. Welcome. 
you. Good morning, everyone. Morning. It's such a treat to be with you all. And uh, as we come into this place and into this time, a sacred time in the week to just think about the Lord, to receive instruction from him and, and to be blessed in our souls. Uh, let's begin that time in prayer. Father, you are the source of every good thing, love, life, family. What do we have that we haven't received from you? And so, Lord, this is, this is a time where we're saying thank you for all that you've done for us. I pray that you would be glorified and lifted up in this service. And yet, Lord, many of us come to a time like this with hearts that are burdened, uh, with hearts that are full of, of just worry and grief of things that have happened to us. And so I pray, Lord, as we gather, that we would be able to lay those things down at your cross and receive from you comfort and joy. Lord, thank you for uh, Pastor Sam and, and the, the calling you've given him here. I pray that you bless him as he's traveling and now be glorified in this service, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Our call to worship uh, this morning, I'm not sure if we have it on the screen here, uh, but the, uh, the one, one of these psalms that I've gotten in my Bible that I've gotten a lot of notes on is Psalm 79. And it talks about how the Lord has heard the taunts of everybody. And here's what it says. The people are crying out to God. And they say, we've poured out, they've poured out our blood like water. We've become a taunt to our neighbors. How long, O Lord, will you be angry forever? Why should the nations say, where is their God? We are the sheep of your pasture. We give thanks to you forever. From generation to generation, we recount your praise. And even though the world kind of laughs at God's people and pokes fun at believers, our God is real. He is on the throne, and we are the sheep of his pasture. And so we give him thanks, and we give him our praise. Well, we're going to begin now our, our time of worship, or continue it in um, the, singing the hymn, What a Friend We Have in Jesus, number 173. And actually, I didn't get a chance to tell Andrew. We're going to try something a little bit different. Uh, the words will actually be up on the screen for this one, um, partly because uh, there is a praise chorus in the middle of this version of, of this song. Um, also, we've just had requests that, uh, in addition, you, you always have the option to open the hymnal for, for when we're doing our hymns, but we have had a request to put the words up as well for those that uh, want to look forward and maybe even just a little bit bigger print than <laughs> what's in your hymnal even even bigger than what's in the the big print hymnal so um you'll see those words for our hymns as well as we, as we go throughout the service today so this is what a friend we have in jesus <laughs>
Amen. Do you come burdened with a load of care? Do you come maybe to church with friends who despise and forsake you? Whatever the burden on your heart is today, let's take it to the Lord in prayer. And even the very burden of our own humanity and sinfulness is something we can take to the God. And we do that now through the confession of our sin, confessing to a holy God our need for him uh, each and every day. Almighty God, our maker and redeemer, we poor sinners confess to you that we are by nature sinful and unclean and that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. Therefore, we flee for refuge to your infinite mercy and ask you for Christ's sake. Grant us forgiveness of all our sins and by your Holy Spirit, increase in us true knowledge of you and of your will and true obedience to your word to the end that by your grace we may come to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And truly, everyone who draws near to him through faith will find that he is not weak to save, but he is mighty to save. In 1 John 1, 8, it says, if we, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. The truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. This is the truth of God's word. That your sins are forgiven you because of what Jesus has done. Through faith in him, we receive that. In Jesus' name. We now... Uh, invite Tim Page forward for our uh, scripture readings today. Oh, sorry, we stand for the yeah. scripture reading. Thank you. <laughs> uh, the, uh, Old, Old Test- <clears throat> the Old Testament lesson is from Numbers 6, 22 through 27. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and his son, saying, Thus you shall bless the people of Israel. You you shall say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. So shall they put my name upon the people of Israel, and I will bless them. And the uh, New Testament uh, gospel lesson is uh, John 15, 12 through 17. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants. For the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all that I have heard from my father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide, so that whatever you ask the father in my name, he may give it to you. These things I command you, so that you will love one another. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Alleluia. What a great uh, message. God chose you. He appointed you. He he caused you to be born in this time and in this generation. Uh, You may now be seated, and uh, we're going to spend just a few minutes reflecting on things that we can thank the Lord for, and maybe some things that we need to pray about or Um, any of those types of things. Uh, This is the prayer and praise time now.